My name is Cindy, and I am a Sims 2 custom content addict. But somehow I've managed to keep all 29,792 files of custom content under 7 gigabytes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I organize my custom content and compress it to keep the file sizes as low as possible, which also decreases loading time. So here is what my downloads folder looks like. It is very nicely organized. This took me a very long time to do because I used to have just a big mess of a folder with everything just thrown into one big folder with no organization organization and I just couldn't live like that anymore. So I found a method that I really like for organizing custom content. This method I find works best for keeping your loading times as low as possible. So I first found out about this method, which I have personally tweaked over time from a very old <laughs> forum post from Mod The Sims, uh, May, May 2012 actually. So I was just looking for tips and things because I've seen other people have very nice organized custom content folders and I wanted to know how to do it myself. So I came upon this forum post and I saw this. I've seen other simmers with folder setup similar to this. Um, I think the first time I saw somebody do this was on the Jessa channel. So I really liked this and I wanted to incorporate it for myself. This person had the amazing idea to use subcategories, not subfolders. So what I used to do is create a new folder for clothing. And then inside of that folder, I would create a new folder for adults. And then inside of that folder, I would create a new folder for female. And then on and on and on until I got to the very end. And that was before I knew about how The Sims 2 loaded content and that this was actually making my loading time take a lot longer. So I incorporated this idea of subcategories and this is the way that I do it. So I start with A for create a sim. And the reason why I do this is because you can then group this by name. So if you go to view in your folder, group by, name, it will now group your folders in alphabetical order. So A through H in the first section, I through P in the second section, Q through Z in the third section, and other in the fourth section. So I have divided up my downloads using this system. A is for create a sim, I is for buy mode, Q is for build mode, and other is for mods. And I start these folders out with an underscore. So this person in their folder, they use dashes and spaces. I do not use spaces in my folder names because spaces can make loading take longer, believe it or not. So instead, I just use underscores. Dashes are fine too, but I just feel like underscores look better. So you can see here, all of my file names are for create a sim a underscore create a sim underscore clothing and then i go through and do adult female adult male baby child female child male cu is child unisex elder female elder male pf uh, pf is toddler female toddler male toddler unisex and then teen uf and um are males of all ages and females of all ages. And then I have another folder for all my default clothing. And then I get into eyebrows, eyes, face templates, facial hair, genetics, glasses, hair defaults, hair, female and male, unisex hair, jewelry, makeup, uh, uniforms, nose masks, just whatever create a sim stuff that I have. Basically come up with whatever categories work best for you, but these are what I mean by subcategories. So clothing, adult, female, athletic is all in one file. And if we open this up, I only have package files in here. I don't have any more subfolders. The more subfolders you have, the longer it's gonna take to load. Everything in here is adult female athletic wear. So for buy mode, I kind of do the same thing and I try to keep the categories as close to the in-game categories as possible. For example, buy mode, comfort, dining chairs, buy mode, comfort, living chairs, buy mode, comfort, miscellaneous, office chairs, sofas, just whatever the game categories are, uh, that's what I use for my folders and then sometimes I add some additional folders. For example, I have a themed sets here 
and this is where I keep my bakery CC, my church, fashion shop, fire station, and you'll notice that anytime I have to put a space in a name of a folder, I put an underscore because the game reads that better than a space and it reads it faster. So sometimes I will use subfolders like in this situation, but then if I go into church, for example, this is all my church custom content. I'll do the same thing with default clothing. So in my default clothing folder, I name the subfolders after the clothing item that I am replacing. That way I know if I have a replacement for an individual item, I can just look in here. Uh, for example, I might see that one of my favorite custom content creators releases a default replacement for teen female bottom skirt. So I can just go in here and look and say, oh, I already have a replacement for that. And then I can decide if I want to keep it or replace it with a new one and upgrade it. But it's very easy for me to see at a glance what I have replaced, mostly everything. <laughs> and because these are named after the actual game objects, um, they're sorted by adult female, adult male, uh, elder female, teen female, and so on. Now, some of these defaults here, that's not even spelled right. <laughs> Default. Uh, some of these defaults here, if it's for like entire sections, like default celebration stuff. So this is all like a set of celebration stuff that's been defaulted. And I just felt it was easier to keep this all together in a separate folder. Uh, same thing for like school uniforms, Max's tanks, uh, mesh fixes. Some of these need spaces in, in them. <laughs> I'm not perfect. <laughs> so here are some tips for getting your game to load faster. First of all, the game does not recognize special characters like these. So uh, Veronica, these Veronica, Ugly Townie, and SOO and L Tannen files right here, they have brackets in the name. The game does not read brackets. It, it spazzes out and it takes it a long time to read brackets. So if you have custom content that has brackets in the name, you can leave it in, it won't hurt anything. And it's, you know, it's probably like seconds that this is gonna shave off, but I like to keep everything consistent. So I like to take out the brackets because I don't wanna spend all day sitting here removing the brackets by hand. I use a program called Bulk Rename Utility. This is very handy if you are a hardcore simmer and you do a lot of work with custom content. Um, I would recommend getting bulk re rename utility. So here's how it works. We're gonna drill down until we find this folder in particular. So we're gonna go to documents, EA games, the Sims 2 ultimate collection, downloads, create a Sim, adult female every day. Now it's gonna load everything that's in this folder and here are our brackets. So what we wanna do is just click on anything in here and hold down control A. This will select everything in the folder. So then we're gonna to go to remove characters and we're gonna put both brackets in right here. Then we're gonna click rename and it removes all of the brackets for us with one click. You can do the same thing if you have any other weird characters, things like uh, the number sign or the and symbol, anything that's not a letter, number, underscore, or dash. Now we can also use this to take the spaces out, which is gonna help with load time. Go to the replace box, replace space, so just hit the space bar once, with a dash or an underscore. I'm gonna do an underscore because that's just what I prefer. And then we're gonna click rename, and anywhere there was a space now has an underscore. It's that easy, and you can do this for all your folders, and it's just gonna make everything load so much faster. Now, I would not recommend doing this on mods. I would only do this on your custom content. For the mods, I've had problems before, so I do not touch the names of my mods. I just leave them exactly as they are, however they come. I don't mess around with the names of the mods, but for all of my custom content, all of the objects, clothing, buy mode, build mode stuff, I do this for. Now the next thing you wanna do after you have everything organized and named properly is to compress your files. To do this, you wanna use a little program called the Compressorizer. So I will link to the bulk rename utility and the Compressorizer down in the description box below if you wanna use these on your custom content. So once you open up the Compressorizer, it looks like this, and we're gonna click Add Files to List. And then once again, it's kind of an old program, so you have to drill down by going to your name and then going to documents, 
EA games, The Sims 2, downloads, and you have to do this every time. It's kind of a pain, but it's worth it. And then we're going to go to Adult Female Every Day. Click OK. It's going to load everything in that folder. And then all you have to do is click Go. Now, you can also do subfolders at the same time. You can choose one level of folder and do all the subfolders at once. Just click the recursive checkbox right here, and it will pull in all of the content in subfolders as well. And then it's just gonna roll, depending on how much stuff you have, it can take quite a while. After several minutes or however long it takes for your folder, um, you'll get an operation complete message and it'll tell you how much storage space it saved. Now, I've already done this folder before so it only saved me one megabyte but if you've never done this before you'll be surprised at how much space it can actually save you i saved gigs of space from doing this to all my folders now once again i would not do this on mods only do this on custom content clothing hair clothing and hair are the big ones of uh, furniture any kind of buy mode build mode stuff anything that's not just a straight up mod. Just stick with custom content and uh, leave the mods out of it. Never mess with, never mess around with your mods. It may technically work on the mods. It's just, I've had problems before with my mods screwing up after I've done this. So I just tend to not touch them. And they're usually very small in size anyway. So it doesn't matter that much. You're going to save the most space by doing this on your clothing, hair, furniture, etc. Now, another thing I want to talk about, I am going to link to this post down in the description box if you want to read through this this old uh, mod the sims post from live lucas if you want to read through this yourself and get some ideas for your own downloads folder uh, but one thing i want to talk about that this person does that i don't do because i found something that works better they like to save each individual item in a folder in a subfolder and put a screenshot with it and i used to do this because i thought it was a really good idea but i have found it to be unnecessary and i no longer do this now i have as few subfolders as possible as I've shown you here, I have no subfolders. I just put the bulk package files into this folder. They are all just thrown in here. You can see like some of them are named after the creator. It's just whatever the name is when I downloaded it. I don't really care. Um, and the reason is because I test all of my custom content when I download it. I make sure it's something I want in my game. And if I'm absolutely sure I test it in a in any game starter, and if I'm absolutely sure I like it, then it gets compressed and it gets moved into its appropriate folder in my downloads. Nothing goes in to this masterpiece <laughs> until it is thoroughly tested and compressed. So I know once it's in here, I don't need a thumb, I don't need a screenshot, I don't need a thumbnail. I don't need to know, you know, what anything is because I've already tested it. I know it's something I like. I know it's something I want in my game. I don't have any text files, anything extra that comes with the download. I discard it. So all of my folders are like this, just straight up package files, except for the few that I do have to use uh, subfolders in. And then the subfolders are organized just like this. And this also helps your game to load faster because the game isn't having to sort through text files and image files. It's just straight up package files and it can go faster. With this method, I have seven gigs of custom content, which you saw, and my game loads in about seven minutes, about a minute per gig. The loading time not only depends on how much custom content you have, but also on your computer specs. So your time will vary. But if you want to get it down, trust me, rename your files, get rid of all the extra stuff you don't need in your downloads and compress everything. And always test your custom content. I test it in a separate game before I even put it into my main custom content folders. And that's just a tip for life. That's just not even related to organization. It helps me to organize, but I always recommend testing out your custom content because sometimes things can look really nice in the pictures and then you get them in the game and you're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> And it might just not be the custom content that you thought it was. So always test out, make sure it's something that's good enough for you to make it into your game. Be choosy. Have a beautiful game. Be choosy. So also you might notice that I have these three little files here at the end. Um, my enable color options, I just keep this out. It doesn't really fit in any other category, so I just keep this out at the bottom. Um, and these two right here that has the, have the Z in front of them, um, I need these 
files to load last. So if you ever hear somebody say, oh, this mod needs to load last or load this mod after another mod, this is how you can do it. You just rename it so that it is the very last thing in the list of your all of your download folders. So to do that, I do underscore Z, 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 and underscore Z, 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 Z. And then these will load last. So that's why they're out here on their own. So that's all the advice I can really give you about organizing your downloads folder. Just find a system that works for you. You might not want to use the same folder names that I do. You might have your own system set up, uh, but try to use the least amount of subfolders as possible. Keep file sizes down and you'll be good. If you like the way that I do things here, I have put a copy of an empty download folder that's organized just like this on my website that you can download and start using for yourself. So I will link to that down below. It just has all, almost all of my folders. Like I, I didn't put a nose masks folder because I don't know if you want to use nose masks or not, but I put all of the basic categories in there just to get you started. If you don't relish the thought of going in and creating all of these folders yourself, you're welcome. <laughs> So leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any questions or tips or if there's anything else that you do when you're organizing your custom content that might help other viewers. Uh, leave a comment down below and let us know. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.